in this video, we are going to be talking about a few readers comments and questions particularly around the difference between nociplastic and neuroplastic pain and the talk around pain reprocessing therapy and other sort of behavioral therapies that I mentioned in my videos. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for all the comments that you've been giving around the videos and the questions you've been asking. Uh, thank you particularly to Barry Grossmith. I'm, I'm really grateful that you've enjoyed the podcast and the videos as well as to Rajiv Arora. Look out for some content on CFS in the next set of videos that I'll be making there. Perfect design, whoever you are. Thank you for the questions there. First thing you've asked is, about physios who specialize in chronic pain. So I can give you two resources that I really respect and are, are big names in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to stick to the UK. So first is the Pain Physiotherapy Association. They are part of the Chartered School of Physiotherapy there and they are an excellent resource and many of the physiotherapies who are part of the PPA will be very specialized and will have a very good knowledge of physiotherapy with specific reference to chronic pain. With regards to the other organization that I would suggest is an organization called Stress Illness Recovery Practitioner Association called SIRPA, S-I-R-P-A. And this has been started and founded by a physiotherapy colleague called Georgie Oldfield based in Huddersfield. What she has done over the last 10 years is to take on the understanding that sometimes stress and the way our immune and nervous system react and respond to emotions can also influence and affect the body. I mention in my book a few other resources like The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk and another book called The When the Body Says No by Gabor Mate. And I think her work, Georgie Oldfield and Serpa's work, takes into account the holistic approach to mind-body therapies, including physiotherapy there. So within that organization, I think you will find other practitioners, not just physio, but other practitioners who are able to bring that holistic approach to helping you with chronic pain. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the content useful and of value to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more videos to be notified. Lastly, coming to what James Stewart has asked and, and he makes a very good point around the new technique called pain reprocessing therapy with regards to neuroplastic pain as they call it in the book and the difference between neuroplastic and nociplastic pain, which is the term that has been adopted by the IASP, the International Association of Study of Pain, uh, which coined and accepted this term in 2019 for the new definition and categories of chronic pain. So just as a refresher, chronic pain has three different kinds. One is nociceptive pain, which is the acute pain with chemicals that are released there. The neuropathic pain, which is the kind of pain when you get, when there is nerve injury. And the third category is the nociplastic pain, where the nervous system has got completely sensitized for a variety of reasons. Now, this is still a little gray area in terms of what's the difference between nociplastic and neuroplastic and I would define it as nociplastic being the bigger umbrella of nervous system sensitivity and central sensitization but within nociplastic there are groups of patients where there is no structural abnormality at all for their pain. So for example, people with back and neck pain, but their MRIs do not show any significant structural problems. That would be a kind of neuroplastic pain. And the study and the technique of pain reprocessing therapy, this was the main technique that was used in the Boulder back study done in Colorado in 2020 and published last year in 2021 or 2022. 
And that study showed that when pain reprocessing therapy is employed for neuroplastic pain, a huge proportion of patients were able to get significant pain relief in just a four week period of that therapy. Now pain reprocessing therapy is a form of psychological or behavioral therapy that incorporates elements of acceptance and commitment therapy which is popularly offered by many psychologists here in the UK but it also brings in some techniques of somatic tracking as well as trying to train and teach your nerve circuits to rewire differently and reprocess differently and that's what seems to be the difference in how it achieves its success. I hope that has been useful in telling you what the difference between nociplastic and neuroplastic is. Once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for your questions. Keep them coming and I'll see you in the next video.